Happy New Year to all. I am Eunice Sabine Adola. We come to you with a January 2022 edition of the Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. You are welcome. In this edition, our stories are from Togo, Italy, Argentina, Misiones, Philippines, and Rome. To honor the Founders' Feast Day from 9th to 15th January, the Divine Word Missionaries in Lome, in Togo, Benin, organize conferences with a theme. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Some members of the province, parishioners from different SVD parishes and friends were present. The organizers and some participants talk about the event. C'est une semaine où nous sommes appelés à échanger sur le plan spirituel et deuxièmement sur le plan aussi social, voir les problèmes qui ruinent notre société et ensemble conjuguer nos efforts tant soit peu pour voir quelle serait notre contribution. Allô, c'est société du Verbe divin. Je trouve que euh, les thèmes sont pertinents, les conférenciers sont... Euh, très, très à l'aise, très, très à la hauteur de leur, euh, leur conférence et je trouve que les, les tomes sont très bien développés, les, les sujets sont très intéressants et euh, nous avons besoin de, de ce genre d'enseignement de, pour pouvoir approfondir les choses et faire grandir notre foi. Vraiment, j'ai été très impressionné pour cette quatrième édition de la semaine de la SVD. Vu les, le programme, plus précisément sur les investissements, les moyens d'investissement, ça m'a vraiment touché parce que je fais partie de la jeunesse et je vois comment la jeunesse paroissiale a vraiment soif de, de cette initiative-là. Oui, la SVD a un impact euh, au Togo. Ceux qui connaissent l'histoire de l'église euh, catholique au Togo savent que c'est avec la SVD qu'est née l'église euh, euh, catholique au, au Togo. Et la SVD, à ses débuts, a formé nos, nos parents, nos grands-parents, euh, comme des catéchistes et d'autres laïcs qui ont collaboré avec eux pour euh, l'avancement de la mission dans notre pays. The Divine Word Missionaries administer a parish in the Diocese of Rome since 2020. It is the first parish since ever. It is located a few miles away from the Generalites. San Benedetto Parish Fuori Porta San Paolo is a 20th century parochial church and titular church on the southern edge of Rome, dedicated to St. Benedict of Nusia. Currently, there are two SVD priests working in the parish, Fathers Vivian from India and Sibula Juraj from Slovakia. The parish priest, Father Vivian, and a member of the parish council, share about the parish life and mission. Now it is uh, since one year the Italian province has taken up this uh, parish in Rome. I would say it is a blessing for the SVDs, for the Italian province and for the whole congregation to have this parish in Rome so that we can uh, uh, give to the people the missionary aspect of our congregation. We can also proclaim the word of God. Um, we're very pleased to have our uh, SVD priests now in this parish and their presence is something which we consider very valuable because uh, they brought a new spirit in this parish. They brought a very international spirit and they consider everybody as um, a member of a big family. They're very inclusive and you can feel that there is the willing to have an international and uh, community. And uh, also what I found distinctive is the presence of the priests every morning with our um, uh, morning prayers. And that is very important for us because it made us feel like a family. We don't the role of media for evangelization is more and more evident in the SVD mission worldwide. In Argentina, Misiones, the radio FM Guadalupe Internacional 
is used as a medium to spread the word of God for information and formation and for reaching as well those who are not formally part of the church. Desde hace 27 años, eh, esta radio eh, sigue con su lema, sirviendo a Dios y sirviendo al prójimo. Eh, se trata de hacer siempre una buena radio y es una emisora eh, católica eh, inserta aquí en la comunidad de la zona eh, de Capiobí. Eh, comparte la vida y la vivencia de la Iglesia Católica. También eh, es una eh, emisora abierta hacia las otras iglesias con un espíritu ecuménico. Ofrece también una formación humana y cristiana de los oyentes y brinda siempre la información seria y también eh, desde un espíritu cristiano eh, inspirada siempre en el Evangelio. Eh, aquí eh, tenemos eh, distintos tipos de programas para poder lograr estos objetivos que, que puso el fundador, Padre José Marx. ¿no? Tenemos programas con la misión evangelizadora, promoviendo un crecimiento espiritual. Y podemos mencionar aquí unos espacios de oraciones por la mañana, mediodía y, y de noche, por ejemplo, como el Angelus, ¿no? También el rezo del Santo Rosario por la mañana y por la noche, ¿no? Unas reflexiones bíblicas del día, lección divina, eh, también eh, coronilla de la Divina Misericordia y Santa Misa transmitida desde la parroquia aquí, San Luis Gonzaga de Capiodí, los días domingos y los días festivos. Tenemos también programas de formación eh, humana y espiritual de los laicos. También tenemos unos programas de servicio a la comunidad donde integramos los distintos sectores de la comunidad. Last December, Super Typhoon Rai hit the southeastern islands of the Philippines, bringing havoc and destruction. Father Heinz Kuleke, Commenting on the typhoon, says, in his 35 years in the Philippines, he has never experienced a typhoon of this magnitude and such devastation in Cebu. Like Typhoon Yolanda or Haiyan in Leyte in 2013, the typhoon completely devastated many places in the islands, especially in Mindanao, Leyte, Bohol, and the whole south of the island of Cebu, including Cebu City. The government declared a state of emergency for these areas. Hundreds of people lost their lives. The material damage is enormous. Food packages are urgently needed for about 5,000 families from the areas mentioned. The Divine Word missionaries are present, ushering in the immediate response to the people who require help. The destruction is incredible. In my more than 30 years in the Philippines, I've never experienced such a destruction. At this moment, we need food and drinking water. Today, we are here to, to thank you, our dear benefactors, for your very, very generous support. Without your help and solidarity, all this would not be possible. For this, we want to thank you today, especially also in the name of all these people who receive your kind assistance, food and drinking water, and later we will offer medical services. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. From January 13 to 19, 2022, the caucus team formed of the General Council, the officials and the four zonal coordinators celebrated their semi-annual meeting in Rome. Because of the visa restriction for COVID-19 in some countries, some members attended the meeting online. Apart from the presentation of the reports of the different offices, the planning of activities for the next six months, etc., the members worked on the preparation of the 19th general chapter in 2024. During the caucus, the team received a visit of the Superior General of the Holy Spirit Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, Sister Madre Maria Magdalena, on a visit to Rome. <laughs> The servants of the Holy Spirit Sisters meeting in general chapter from 12th to 31st of January in Aricia elected Sister Miriam Ottenhofen, Superior General, and the other members of the General Council for the next six years. We congratulate the team of the new administration. Thanks for watching the news. 
See you next month. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We meet again next time.